One of the 101 things they don't tell you about working in the music industry is there are people who make it their job to put other people down. In fact, there will be someone who will make it their job to put you down about your music. And I personally don't think that should be happening. I really think it's bad taste. Um, for some reason, these people will not like what you're doing. And rather than tell you to your face, you do get one or two who do that. They will talk about it in the band and it will trickle to your ears. Or if you ask to do a lead, they'll make sure you don't do the lead because they'll want to do it or they'll suggest somebody else to do it. They won't give you that opportunity. And the classic one is, have you heard that guitarist? Oh, they're so brilliant. And you're a guitarist, but you know that they're not saying that because they just want to share that bit of information with you so you can really talk about how good that person is and you know, see some licks and tips and all that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. They're just saying that because they want you to feel bad about what you're doing and they're kind of trying to say that you're not as good as that person. Well, when these put downs happen, they do hurt. They absolutely hurt. But there's two ways that you can handle it. Number one, which I would not recommend, is you let that hurt trickle down further into your insecurities about yourself and your music. You begin to believe what they're saying and then at some point in time you decide you're no longer going to play, you're no longer going to sing, you're no longer going to write or produce, you're just going to give it up and go get a different job. Or you can do what my friend did, is that when he was being put down in his band and he was being knocked about by their words from pillar to post, he took on board the positive words of other people who said he was good and he could do it. He stripped away the negative stuff and he worked on his music and he changed band, found a band that was a little bit more accommodating to him. And you know what? This person ended up playing for Tina Turner. I mean, how, 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 how he played for Tina Turner, but he did it. And you know what? I prefer that you take that approach to put down. Use it as fuel for your journey. Use it as something that will just push you along your musical journey. Okay, you might just need to improve what you're doing. Okay, they may have a point, but they don't know how to say it properly. Okay, they may not have a point, but they just want to make your day bad. Whatever, whoever, wherever, Take it as fuel for your journey because one day they will be in your rear view mirror and their words will have no power over you. But I can say I have lived to see the day that those same individuals have said to me and they will be saying to you, wow, you're really good and wow, how did you do that? Because you didn't give up. And to those of you who chose to give up, please rethink, start again. You're going to get some stupid people in music. Honestly, there are going to be some silly people out there. But if you can just pick yourself up, start again, one step after the other, after the other is what climbs a mountain, not the big rush, not the big leaps. You can do it because you've got your journey got your destination, you've got your calling, you've got your passion, go for it. Don't let them win. Okay, that's all I want to say today. I'd love to hear your comments and of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye for now.